Welcome to the next episode of Waterpark Rangers Let's Play Pikmin 3. In the last episode, we defeated the Shaggy Longlegs at the Tropical Wilds. And in this game, I mean in this day, I mean obviously this game too, we're not suddenly switching games and playing Pikmin 2. But on this day, we're going to return to the Tropical Wilds. Oh, we actually have had the fruits, that's nice. And we are going to fight the Tropical Wilds boss. I have an idea of how to get there and it shouldn't be too difficult. We're just going to clear out any enemies that are in our path and head right and fight it. I'm pretty sure the Whip Tongue Bull Borb might be back today. As well as some other threats. Maybe some more swarming shear grubs, who knows. Uh, actually no, no Whip Tongue, so perhaps no swarming shear grubs. First off, we only really need... Let's go with 20, Yellow Pikmin. This is to open the path. And we'll test and see if there's any swarming shear grubs. Any? Nope. I mean, they appear to come and go, and I mean, they're all over the place, but... There's a swooping snitch bug. I'd like to get rid of him first. Yeah, we'll just focus on our attacks on him for the time being. Nice! Flex, this is bad! Tupatatui! Alright, let's throw... You across. And you across. <laughs> and all the Pikmin. I like how they have one male shear grub on that. That's really cool. That's totally the kind of choice I would have made when designing this game. Also, just due to the fact that I like male shear grubs, they're cool. Like the shear grubs, the termites. I always liked those enemies. I thought they were really neat. Alright, now, uh. I could have sworn we'd find a memo hidden in here. I've always been expecting to find a memo or a data file in the, um, in the tall grass, but I never do. Looks like we can count on them to push that bag across and down. You know, I'm a little sad we haven't seen any, uh, sheer wigs in this game so far. They're like sheer grubs, only they can fly, and I mean, they were in the previous games. I can understand why they would have taken them out, but, I mean, they kept the female and male sheer grubs. I wish they'd have the sheer wigs, which are a step up. Now, how many Pikmin should I bring along for this boss? We don't really know what it's capable of, so to be on the safe side, I'm going to bring a mixed group. Um, I'm going to bring, say, 45 yellows, let's say, 35 reds and 20 rock. Um, yeah, sure, why not? It's reasonable, and we'll try and split them up if we need to. Either way, we've got a full army of 100, and I'm very confident this is the way the boss is, because remember how we got to the armored Maudad? There was, like, this special road all by itself. Um, okay, I guess we're gonna have to walk the captains to Charlie as well, or the pilots, rather. I really like the way the light looks when they do the whistle. I just, the light on top of their helmet, that's cool. Do, 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 do. I like the music in this place. This might be my favorite area music so far. It's very adventuresome. If it was me, though, I would have named this place Pirate's Cove. That would have been a much better name for it. Or, like, Shipwreck Cove. Like, something generically piratey. That would have been a much better name. You know, from now on, we're calling it Shipwreck Cove. And now we go to fight the boss of Shipwreck Cove. It's Barbosa. If it's Barbosa, I swear. <laughs> hey, check out those uh, palm trees. No, we can't throw Pikmin all the way to the tree, despite what the crosshair is telling us. What if the boss was a giant palm tree, like Envy from Full Metal Alchemist? <laughs> of course, I had to make the Envy joke. Now, hey, I bet you that's the signal, and of course, it's probably going to be a giant buried sand robot or whatnot. That must be the source of the signal, but we thought it was all of our transmitting from here. Ugh, we have to find him. At last, we can at least we can scavenge that thing to expand the Drake's scanning range. Well, you know, it's pretty stupid of them that they thought they'd find Olimar, considering the last time they thought they found someone, it turned out to actually be a giant monster. I guess the yellow Pikmin are the best best for uncovering stuff, so we'll let them dig it up. Sinkhole. Yep. Oh, quicksand. Oh, that's cool. We haven't seen quicksand. Oh man. Duh! That thing is ugly! Hey, come to think of it, I saw that guy's, uh, face for like two seconds in an E3 trailer or something. Um, okay. Let's run away from him. 
<laughs> Let's run far away from this horrible monster. Um. Oh man, it, it sucks in Pikmin? What's his name? Sand Belching Mirror Slug. Well, I haven't seen it belch any sand, but it sure does swallow it up. Ah, it probably has to swallow the sand in order to belch it. That makes a lot of sense. Oh, wait, wait, the dodge roll, right! Let's just use the dodge roll to avoid um, it shooting those rocks at us. Can we throw Pikmin at it? Maybe that was our chance to hit it. I'm seeing these little um, dirt mounds around this thing too, though, so maybe we can... Uh, oh god. Let's get out of that thing. Oh! I think I have a suspicion, but um, we'll start by having some Pikmin work on that. Go for it, guys. And while they do that, I'm gonna try out attacking him while he throws his uh, sand at us. Nice! This guy's fun. You know, I think Red Pikmin might be the most efficient for fighting him. Like, the Rock Pikmin are kinda useless in this fight. Oh, what, Data? What's this say? Sand Belching Mirror Slug number one. If they start getting sucked in, call them with a whistle to save them. Got it. That's a scary picture, too. It looks just shitty from the TV screen, but the gamepad shows it a little bit more accurately. Alright. Why are our Pikmin all scattered about? That thing is a little bit too quick. Um, so they recovered a data file from that. Let's just try and set more yellows on the next one. This is a cool boss idea. Also, that's the ocean! So cool. I wondered when we'd see the ocean in a Pikmin game, like in a level. Um, what you get? Another data file. Um, Sandwich and Beer Mirror Slug number two. When it shows its face, attack it with Pikmin. Use the bomb rocks when it starts inhaling. Gotcha. Okay. Well, I don't see any bomb rocks, but if I had to guess as to where they are, they are in other mounds or something. I don't see any. Um, is there a straight Pikmin? Oh, it was a rock Pikmin that must have got hit by a rock. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, time to attack. Get it, guys! This is a neat boss idea. So far, all the bosses in this game are pretty cool. I don't know where the hell that one stray is, though. Oh! Oh no! No! Not good! Pikmin! Pikmin, get out of there! Get out of there, Pikmin! Why didn't you get out of there? Ugh! Ugh, what a creeper. Um, where are the bombs? Do we need to bring bombs to fight this thing? Um... Yeah, maybe we need to find bombs and then come back. Okay. It shouldn't be hard to find bombs. Kind of anticlimactic to realize that we need bombs. I mean, who could have anticipated it would go like this? I sure do like the way these uh, little segments where you can walk about are. I think they're cool. Okie dokie. So bombs are our first priority. We'll just get a couple of them. I don't think we're going to need many more. We'll have the yellows dig. It actually appears that all types of Pikmin are kind of useful in this fight because yellows can latch onto its head easily. You know what, though? Reds are actually the best for this, now that I think about it. Like, they're kind of obviously the best, because Reds can latch on and do a lot of damage. You know what, though? I think I'm gonna switch out the yellows for Reds and then head back and kill them. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. And Reds. They're like fire ants. Oh, no! Oh my god, if those bomb rocks went off, like when they fell, that would have been <laughs> catastrophic. Okay. Back to the mirror slug. You know, it's not really mirror. It's pretty big. Like, 
Mammy sand belching big slug or something, not mirror. Whatever it is, it's certainly not mirror. The sand belching near slug from uh, Death Note near. That would be hilarious. <laughs> the sand belching near slug. Okay. Well, there he is. If we're gonna finish this fight on time, we're probably gonna have to. Uh... Yeah, let's let's get a bomb ready. So that'll be the next thing we throw. Um. Yep. Let's throw a bomb. Inhale it? Um, that didn't seem to do it. You didn't really eat it. You know, let's fire up our Pikmin. Oh, well, his face is kind of obscured by the bomb rock, but I suppose that just happens to be the one they chose. Ultra spicy, this seems to make him more aggressive. Yeah, I want to use it on him. Let's go! Uh, come on, guys. Okay, we need to throw the bomb this time. Come on, Pickin. Alright. Now he's been knocked on his head. Get him! Um, for some reason, the Pikmin weren't able to hurt him quickly enough. Oh, Rock Pikmin. Where the heck are the bombs we apparently need for this fight? Oh, now he's only, like, hittable by yellows? Interesting. We might actually have to take a couple days to beat this boss. That's kind of satisfying, actually, to know there's a fight that takes that long. Where the heck are all the bomb rocks? You'd imagine that there'd be more around the arena that we could use or something. I suppose not, after all. Eh. It's cool. What's not cool is the fact that he's just not hurtable at all now. Turns out we did need yellows! Oh wait, how am I missing five? And it spits a lot more rocks now. Oh, come on guys. Ow. Yeah. Okay. So... That's the unfortunate news, is that he's got a lot more attacks than we reckoned he'd ever have. Um, so first things first, we gotta set a plan. We'll need lots of bombs for fighting him, lots of bombs, evidently. We'll have to go around the area scrounging for them, because he doesn't stay, stay stunned for very long. I'm also probably not gonna use any more of my Philosopher's Stone sprays. Just cause, I'd rather save them for later. Like, I bet you the final boss is harder. Like, this guy's already kind of got a challenging strategy for him. So, instead of fighting him today, let's put away our Pikmin. Um, actually, let's grow a couple because I think we lost, like, a Pikmin or something. Might as well make that up somehow. And, with that taken care of, I'm gonna send them back in. Yeah, I'm actually going to put our Pikmin away. Oh, 209 for both of them. Cool. And together, the three of us are going to see if we can scout out what I think might be the location of a hidden memo or a secret memo. I've just been a little bit suspicious of a certain place. It was down here, come to think of it. Oh, the pilot's... Like, hum along, or something. They sounded creepy, though. A little bit of solo exploration. Let's go. And now from here, I remember just jumping... I went in backwards when I think I could have peered a little bit more carefully and made sure that I wasn't missing something like a memo that might just be down here somewhere. This is where I'd put a secret memo. And I want to look for the secret memos. And since there's really nothing else we can do Pikmin-wise, I figured looking for a secret memo would be the best thing to do. If you don't remember what a secret memo is, we got one back in, um... Ah, that episode. You know the one, that episode. 
<laughs> that one with the giant scales? Huh. I suppose I... I mean, we can jump down here, but it's not doing us much good. Oh well. I was misinformed. I didn't really have an informant, though. I was just an idiot. The other curious thing about this area that I don't understand is... I saw a cave entrance somewhere that looked hard to locate or reach. Yeah. Wow, your punches are useless, Alf. And the cave entrance was this way. I think I'll be able to point it out to you even with the few seconds we have in the remaining in the day. It was... Oh wait, it wasn't that. That was where we got the, the fruit. I think... That looks like a cave entrance, does it not? Totally does. I'm not sure how we get to it yet. Okay, so tomorrow is when we're actually going to defeat the Sand Belching Mirror Slug. Interesting that it would cause us so much trouble. And by trouble, I mean it's just got a lot more defenses than we reckoned. It hasn't really killed many Pikmin, just one. Though now it has a multi-Sand Belching attack that might be a little harder to dodge. No fruit today. We're actually going to lose a jar. That's nice. I can appreciate the challenge. Alright, so tomorrow's game plan... Rock Pikmin are nice because they can't be crushed, but Yellow Pikmin seem to be necessary to do, like, actual damage, and Red Pikmin just latch on and do the most damage. The sad thing is, even though rocks have the most immunity, they are the least effective at hurting it. So, we're probably going to go for it with Yellows and Reds. And we're just going to have to dodge it carefully, because Pikmin that get crushed are just going to die. Good! We still have plenty of juice left. Yep, we have lots of days to defeat the Sand Belching Mirror Slug. We shall try again tomorrow, and I'm pretty sure that this time we can do it. Okay, so the yellows went down. And now we have over 60 deaths. We discovered the intricately designed communication device that was emitting the signal. Unfortunately, a ginormous, <laughs> ginormous creature appeared and swallowed it up. The animals on this planet eat everything. The device's signal was really strong, so I think we could use it to boost the Drake's communication system even further. Now, if we could just get to it somehow. Well, we know what to do. Just gonna be kind of tough to do. Alright, so tomorrow we continue our battle against the Sand Belching Mirror Slug.